to advise you, Metasnap Radio is closing in five minutes. Well, let's start with a hammer. Uh, Victor I Kilo, did, uh, Alpex. I noticed that, like Rick, you said, Alpex Uniform Medicine, uh, correction, uh, Golf Alpex Uniform Medicine Radio. Once you get to vertical in your airplane, it does seem to want to track those up, like you have to hold a little bit of uh, stick forward. Ahead. Yeah. I'm just advising you that uh, Metasnap so Radio is closing in four and a half minutes. So that's true, just take a look at the minutes. picture. So here we are, traffic's Golf clear. Alpex, we'll go to the vertical. Metasnap Radio is closing in Right here, in, uh, yeah, about vertical, and I just checked the wing tips, looks like I drug the left wing, there it is. Pushing forward, start to feel the tickle a little bit. Lots of rudder. Uh, Man, that's a red hammer. Yeah, uh, yeah, that wasn't even great. Can you give me we'll the do uh, frequency for two probably waited following. a little long. All right, we'll go up again. So drug the left wing, last time. Last time, a little bit of right rudder. That's more like it. Boom, just west hold that side picture. Edmonton, uh, center. Pass the 50 Winnipeg. right there, set the cheat, then uh, get the rudder. On right on aileron, and push the stick forward. Now right rudder to catch it. Thank you. And that's where vertical I'm is. I'm not sure what their coverage is to the east of us. Okay, I'll check it out. Everything makes sense? Yep. Cool. I'm not going quite vertical on mine. Okay, are your noses? Yeah, the wheels a little bit. Yeah. So the deal on the uh, lag roll or barrel roll, Yep. You know, imagine that we're uh, flying formation, but one of the keys is having more airspeed than the guy you're going to do that next to. Okay. But imagine that, you know, we're doing 180 right now, there's a guy and we're passing him on the left side doing one, you know, he's doing 160 or whatever, so we just now get past him, we pitch up, the key's getting a good up vector, and then you start to roll over him, and down here you're unloading, feel the unload, yep. and that way you keep him vertical and you make sure you deconflict and you don't put your airplane in front of his flight path. Oh, just to point your nose over? Did yeah, you do a little bit of rudder to do that? Or? Uh, it was all coordinated. Yeah. The biggest thing is get the nose up first, then pull like you're doing a barrel roll. That gets the nose tracking across his flight path. Yeah. And then unload once you get upside down so that you don't pull into him. Yeah. So your, your flight path is floating across where his is. Okay. Harvard Flight Medicine Radio. Have you done consecutive rolls in your RV? Yeah. Yeah? I yeah. wouldn't mind trying that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you know, it gets a little, it, it, the tendency is to be barely, and the nose is just generally tracking down. Yeah. And you can do it where it stays pretty level, but it's kind of pull, push, pull, push. Or even uh, if you want to do a few four-point rolls, that'd be cool, too. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Sounds like good. techie stuff, I guess. Yeah. Sounds good. What would you call you that? Just that? a wing over, or is that Yeah, I'm just Are you going to do a split? That's just the kind of a barrel roll, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could have been a split S. Yeah. Are you slow enough there over the top? Yeah, it was 80. Yeah. All right, how about a point roll? I'll just pitch up a little bit. Did not use a lot of left rudder there. And uh, well, that's one trick, you know. I'll just go over the top. <laughs> the headset sucks. This thing isn't tight enough. Oh, okay. That's all right. Anyway, one trick for a four-point roll, you know, instead of using a lot of rudder with the roll on the first one, let adverse yaw actually drag, draw your nose up. Oh, okay. And that helps you set a vector that's not going to let you descend. So it's just one trick that you don't, from the outside, you don't notice that that happened. But by letting it be the first, the first 90 degree roll will be uncoordinated. It gets yeah. your nose up a little bit. Okay. All right, so rule of thumb in this airplane, I would start with a rule of thumb of 1,500 feet uh, required for a split S. Uh, yeah. I know from experience in my airplane that uh, I can do anything, and I can do 1,000 foot diameter loop from anywhere or less. Yeah. Uh, so my rule during the air shows is 1,200 feet. I won't pull through if I don't have 1,200 AGL. Uh, but if you use 1,500, it's a nice round number. You won't bust your tail. Oh, Lima Hotel, and then, Oscar, Radio. I wouldn't initiate a pull through the vertical at above 100 knots indicated. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get fast. You can do it more than that, but as a rule of thumb, easy numbers. Slower than 100 and above 1,500 above where you want to recover. So yeah. uh, 1,500 feet uh, AGL right is your minimum, or right now, let's say, and let's just stick that's, that's, that's miles an hour in that one, actually. Right is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting, I wondered, because it, yeah. This is Minnesota Radio, but this radio is closing feet. until 115. All right, so here we are. We're at 7,000 indicated, so I'm going to say 
know, so if our goal was to recover by 5,500, let's see what we get. So are we gonna burn less than 1,500 feet? And I'll tell you what, we'll pick another number just to slow down. So we'll get below 100. So let's just use 75 as a nice round number. There's 75, so we should recover by six really easily. So there's 94 knots, 7,500, and the nose is gonna drop because we're so slow as we roll. So that was about 1,200 feet. Yeah, just like you said, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And the same thing if you're gonna do like this, like a half reverse Cuban. Yeah. You better have 1,500 feet below where you start the pole. There we're below 100 knots. Yeah, 90 knots, 7,200 feet. Let's see where we end up. It should be right around six. Actually, it should be less if we were climbing. Yeah, so 63 or so. But yeah, like okay. I said, uh, 15, count on losing 1,500 feet. And then whatever your personal comfort level, I wouldn't use less than 1,500 feet AGL. That leaves you about one mistake high, which really isn't enough. For no, you well, you got to be 2,000 AGL, right? Legal. Okay. Yeah. In Canada. In okay. Canada. All right. Yeah. It's What's the rules in the states on that? No. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so split S, the barrel roll thing, hammerhead, point rolls. Anything else? Seven you want to do something while I'm in here? I mean, you got the goofy rudder pedal. Can you get it to spin? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it to spin because I always got. I was going to a, uh, just into like a spiral, kind spiral of thing. thingy. Yeah. Yeah, a little itty bitty shot of power as you enter will get it to break. But you just got to make sure you got the stick in your lap and keep it all the way back. Oh, while you're spinning, you got to keep it held right back, eh? Yeah. If you let off the back all, at all, it it'll just start stop. Flying. Yeah. <laughs> Do you kick the rudder or you just hold it in? No, right, just as, just before or as it stalls, just ease the rudder, kind of accelerate the rudder all the way to the stop. You don't yeah. have to jam it. Yeah. Just start it and then accelerate it right to the stop. Okay. So 76, that should put us at about 45 AGL. At least. Alright, make sure props coming forward. Actually, I'll leave the prop back at about 25. We won't need it. I'll plan on one turn. The, the thing I've noticed with the RVs is past one turn, and between one and two turns, it really accelerates. Okay. And then it becomes a less predictable recovery. Okay. Uh, it's not scary. It's I, I shouldn't say predictable as far as the heading is less predictable. I'm exiting the Eastern Pacific area inbound for a runway zero. All right, so easing it back, just keeping the nose point. level. So we'll see if we can do it at idle. Might do it better with the CG where it is with you back there. Alright, so there's idle, there's the stall. Yeah, that's spinning. An opposite rudder. Oh yeah, that's way and better. And yeah. One turn. Huh. But you notice though, it was relatively nose high. Yeah. And that's just because with both of us in here, it's you know toward the aft end of the CG range. I know so, it's hard to, the nose just drops too easy. Oh yeah. But I also probably wasn't pulling back hard enough on the stick, maybe. Yeah, when you when you commit, put the stick centered and all the way back, and hold it there until you're ready to start flying again. Uh, can the aircraft that just called this is Victor Kila Hotel, uh, just wondering I like if doing you that have kind of like this. Site, this is what, you. when you feel the energy like that, I love doing that. Yeah. All right. You're going vertical? Yeah, here we go. I'll just go over the top this time. This time we'll do a uh, uh, I'll do a loop. This time we'll do a uh, half roll on the upline. Alpha three to this is Victor Kilo Hotel. I was just wondering if you were ahead of me or not. Obviously not, since I'm approaching to cross overhead the field to join a left hand downward for runway zero. <laughs> Golf we'll push over the front. Yeah. I, yep. I like doing those right too. Yeah. That's Thank living right there. <laughs> Good stuff. And uh, for five trainers in the best approach for runway zero three.
can we hear the prop noise? That's different. I've never heard that. Must be a back trunk thing, eh? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Sounds, sounds cool. <laughs> sounds like a Harvard. Yeah. Talking. I don't know. I guess that's it. Okay. Fun stuff. <laughs>